Hey guys, what up? It's your boy. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a video about my settings that you guys saw on the thumbnail. I'm doing pretty good on my thumbnails. I'm uh, customizing my thumbnails and doing all this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my settings right now. So first, let's start with video. My video, my brightness is all the way down. My user in interface is contrast is uh, one, and my color blend mode is tritope. My color brand strength is already all the way up to 10. My motion blur is on and my show FPS is on. If you're asking why I sound so tired, it's definitely not because it's freaking 10 freaking PM and I only set for like four hours. No, I don't think so. All right, let's go to, uh, to uh, game. My language is English, my matchmaking. It has to be auto, I don't know why it's not auto. It has to be auto. I don't know why it's not auto, I don't know. Well, it's the same thing, and it was, and, and um, whatever. It's the same thing. Um, movement, um, talk, movement, my movement is toggle sprint, is off. Um, sprint by default is on. Sprint cancel reloading is off. Auto open doors is off. Hold and swap pickups is, I used to have it on, but now I don't. Like in season four, I had it on, and now I have it off. Because it's like, nah, I'm all right. So, uh, toggle targeting is off. Mark danger when targeting, that's also off. Wait, no, that one's on. Uh, I was thinking of something else when I was reading that. Um, auto pick up weapons, I also used to have this. No way, auto pick up weapons, that's the one I had to survive. I'll hold to swap and to swap and pick up. I turn it off randomly. Auto sort cons consumable. So right, that's really good. I, I recommend you to try this. You have to have this on because then you're gonna have to keep on going all this to your menu and then putting all your your healing items all there in the back. Instead, you can just use this auto sort consumable. So right. Reset building choice that is officially off. And let's go here. My turbo building hat. That thing is has to be on no matter what you're on. You have to. It has to be on. Um, confirm edit on release. I have that on. I don't know why. It's just I feel like I edit faster with that. I have no idea why. Contextual whatever tips. I don't know what that is. Really. I turned it on and off so many times. I don't know what it does. Extra game option. Um interview you have to have that off i don't know i don't know how people play it if you can have it on i don't know how people are uh invert airborne a e oh my god i can't read right now invert airborne air controls okay that's also off is the same thing as interview and it's gonna uh turns aircraft steering interviews on off when on pressing forward, we'll pitch the aircraft down. So just saying, that's the thing. Um, well, there's no more aircraft for sure, whatever. Uh, turbo delete in creative mode. I have that on. Tap to search and interact. That is, you, should, you have to have it on. Record, play, replays. Have all these on because these are just replays. Now let's go to the next one. All right, so now we're in game UI. Whatever it calls. Whatever the name, whatever, I don't know. The HUD scale for mine it's pretty small, it's at fifty. My uh show show spectator count is on because I always want to see how many people are uh spectating me. Uh retricycle, whatever that is, I don't know what the hell that is. Changes HUD, I don't know what that is. Player health, you have to have this on. If you don't have this on, you're not gonna know what health are you on. The resources, same with player health, is the same thing for resources of how much mass you have. Mini map, you gotta know where you're at. Quick bar, I forgot what that was for. <laughs> Targeting info, I don't know, I forgot what that was. Let's see, pick up the stream, I forgot what that means. Map and backup keys, I have no idea what that means. Elimination, I don't know why I cannot pronounce it right now. Elimination feed. You always have to have this on. If you don't have this on, you're not gonna know how many kills you have. Net bug debug stats. 
I don't know. Not me. A lot of people don't have it on, but I have it on just to see my stats. How is it going? If it's going down, like if I'm laggy and stuff, you can easily tell when I'm laggy. Trust me. Uh, quest progress. That thing's on. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, like when you, you can tell, like you can tell if you did good or not. Like how many, like you, how many XP you got and everything. Um, and ammo indicator. I have no idea. What that is. Vehicle controls, that means if you don't know how to drive, for example, the boat will show you. I don't know why I have it on. I just felt like keep it in there. Um, run time performance stats, I have that on. I don't know what that is. So that's all I have. Moving into the next one. Mouse and keyboard. I don't play mouse and keyboard, um, so I'm going to skip this one. Controller options. This is a good one. Um, controller auto run. I have this one on because I could just like auto run. I could just like put tap my joystick twice and it'll just go on its own, you know. And while like, I'm like over here helping my someone do here, you know. So that's really good. I like that. Edit um, build immediately. Builder Pro. I have that on. It's the same thing as build immediately. Build immediately. Edit whole time. I. Oh yeah. When I'm trying to edit, I could just tap in and boom. Vibration, I used to have this on until everybody told me to turn it off. Uh, so I have that one off. My look sensitivity, uh, that one's an A. I'm still figuring out the sensitivity. So I, I don't want to mess with the sensitivity right now. I, have, I haven't played for a whole, like two months, a whole two months or so. I do not want to mess with it because I just came back and I don't want to mess with anything else. The joystick, I have these two. These are really good. I prefer these better than my old ones my old ones I had like a hundred a hundred these are really good I these um most of the um, dead zone increase or decrease to the area surrounding the sticks that we ignore input from setting this value to low may result the character continuing to move even after removing your finger from the stick so yeah Foot controller, I don't think we have that yet, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna mess with that. My, uh, all right, moving into the next one. Music, my, I have it at least like at two or three. I prefer it like around two or three, because now when I'm making a video, I can speak over that the music, and you guys can also hear the music, so you guys can have more interest. In this more interest like you're gonna be like more interacting with the video when when you have, I have more music in the background sound effects uh, I have that as 45 I don't know I always change it every single day my dialogue I have no idea what I'm reading that is I, I think that's new voice chat I always change it because people are over here freaking yelling in the mic like crazy the cinematics I just move it all the time like I move it crazy 3d headphones these will al allow you to uh, hear better so in your in your phone, subtitles. I have no idea. Like subtitles on. I won't say like that. Yeah, I don't know why I had on. A uh, visual sound effects. This does help you. Like if you don't hear somebody, then this will help you. The 3D headphones, the 3D headphones and the uh, visual sound effects are really good options. So you guys, I think you guys should uh, use those. Voice chat, I have that on, of course I do. A voice character, throw the grab. Um, voice chat method, I have that open mic. I, I always like, I used to change it a lot. Like, I'm like, I used to like tap to talk, but I need something else to do that. I don't know. Voice chat, no field match. I don't know what the freak that is. Voice chat notification, voice character again. Um, license emote player. I have no idea what these I think these are new. I don't know, but whatever. So, there's Let's move on to the other one. Keyboard control, I don't know, play NPC. Next, wireless control. You guys should already know what to do. So if you guys do know, my L2 is to aim down sights. My R2 is to attack or slash confirm. My R1 is to use my next weapon, and my L1 is to do, use my previous weapon. My inventory is up. My switch mode, aka build, is left. My where I place my marker is right. Where I email is 100% down, and where I sprint is my L, my left. My map is my D-pad or the big giant 
bump that you see on the top from PS4s. And um, my options are uh, my game menu, my game menu. My R, I have to tap it like freaking crazy just so I can crouch. My X is to jump, my circles to edit, my squares to reload, slash interact. And my, uh, my triangles so I can bring out my pickaxe. Next one. My build controls. My build controls is L2 stair piece, which, uh, that's easy. A roof. Uh, these are normal builder pro stuff. So, yeah. Edit controls. These are freaking hella weird. You guys should take these. Um, so my R2 is to select. My R1 is to, uh, reset. Which, they're both opposites, even though they're both ones. I mean, they're both R's, what the freak. And my up is to inventory, my down is to email, my triangle is to um, pickaxe, my circle is to confirm, X is to jump, and that is. I already showed you guys this earlier, so I'm not going to say anything about it right now. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I'm going to be editing it that much because it's freaking late as hell. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, peace.